hello guys welcome back again in this video we will look at how to get started with writing java with visual studio code 2020 before we start getting on we will also look at how we can install how we will install the extensions that will make it possible for us to write code inside of vs code yeah so if you haven't actually downloaded and installed the visual studio code I suggest you do so before we get started I already have a video on that so you can have a look at my channel to get the video on how you can get started with a visual studio code 2020 but if you've already done that then we let's get started so first we come to the extensions right So here with the extensions, as you can see, I've I've actually I've already installed um, a Java extension pack. So this is what you will actually um, install first. So all you do is you just write Java. Then you can go you can get all the extensions and whatnot. So as you can see here, you, you, I have already installed the Java extension pack. So they will not need for that, but obviously. You will have to do that before we get we, we continue. You must also have a Java SE development kit JDK on your local development environment. If you don't have them, you can do so now. So I will show you how you can get you can get that bit done here. As you can see, I have a I have a browser open in um, so you, you have to visit this link code.visualstudio.com then you go you go all the way to the documents and then the Java then what you have to do is you click on this bit here you, or you can actually type in on you can google this bit here download visual studio code Java pack installer so once you that why once you do that you'll be able to install all the necessary requirements right so since I have actually already installed this bit on my computer, there's no need for that. But obviously you would have to do it before you, you continue. So you can pause the video, do it and, and continue. But please bear, bear in mind that the installer is currently only available for Windows. For other OS, please install those components, JDK, VS Code and Java extensions individually. So um, the package can be used as a clean install or an update to an existing development environment to add a Java or Visual Studio code. So once you download and you install it, this is the page that you'll be prompted with. I mean this dialogue. So you will have, you will understand what you already have and what you don't have. So basically if you have the VS Code and J, um, JDK, so you can just go ahead and click install and all the necessary components will be added to it so once you're done with the with the installation of all this bit here so you just go you come back to the vs code here and what you do is you do control shift p to grab the command line here so this is the command that we're going to type so we're going to like we're going to type um, java colon configure java runtime so we're going to wait so what i'm going to do i'm just going to do the control shift p again to get the command And I'm gonna post it the command here. So this is what you need to type in: Java colon configure Java runtime, and then you press enter, and this is where you be. This is what you get here. So as you can see, I've got um, the necessary stuff installed already. So if you come to this bit here, then you have to install this, uh, download and install this bit here. So you click on this bit download and install make sure you, you you're on the hotspot that's the word is recommended so i'm not going to do it because i've already done it 
but I'll just say you know so on the next bit is we just go ahead and continue so after you've actually installed that bit here we, we hit the command again we're just gonna close this bit right we hit the control shift P and then this is what we're gonna type in Java colon getting started so, so this is the command that we're gonna need right okay that's good so here it actually shows you what what you're gonna have to do to create and run the, the, the application right so so now we, we can go to this part here and then we open this bit first first we already have this this folder open so I'm just gonna delete this one here So, so now we're going to add a new folder, add new, uh, open a folder, yeah, we're just going to open a folder, yeah, so here, we're going to add a new, new folder, so we're just going to call it, um, first app yeah so we select it so now we have our first app created I mean the folder created the next bit is we're gonna add a new file click on this bit here add a new file so we're gonna say hello hello world dot java so that's the file we're gonna create so now we've actually created the file hello world dot java so the next bit is we're going to create a class okay so we create a class by, by writing the class here actually we're just gonna use the, the auto generator so we, we have this class created for us and then we create our main method by writing the main so this is this is our main method this is the entry point of the of the program this is where the program get started so the next bit of course is the is a so the sys out is for to print out something yeah so here obviously we're just gonna say hello world that's the only thing we're just gonna print out so as you can see yeah, this is very simple I, 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 we have a very simple console app that only prints out hello world so here this is what we're gonna we're just gonna run it first so what you do is we say we're gonna go here we save it or save all so we can use so now once now we have it saved so what we do is we can we can click on the f5 to run it uh, we can just run it from the, the usual run side so now it's running so we're just gonna have to wait a bit for everything to, to go through so as you can see we have it we have the application being built now so we're just gonna have to wait for a while. Failed to launch in the timing now for a reason. 
So we're just going to cancel this bit here. So as you can see here now, we're just going to run it again. So as you can see now we have we have it printed out the hello world printed out. So if we want to see we can say hello world please. So we save it, we run it again, we see what comes out of it. If we're gonna get hello world please, then we know everything is alright. So as you can see we have the hello world please here. So now we have it running. So you can get on, you can go on and and, and continue on and build whatever you want to build now. So I'll leave the video here for this job aside and we will come back to it and build more advanced stuff. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got loads of videos coming. Have a lovely day, morning, afternoon, wherever you are. Stay blessed. Bye bye.